Alrighty boys, welcome back to another step-by-step -step video. Now, uh, to get us started here, we're actually going to be on a consulate map. Um, and uh, we're going to be playing the bombsite servers tellers. Now, this isn't going to be like uh, like the best way to hold servers or anything like that. It's just going to be how we played server. Or at least we, we play server, you know what I mean? And for just like general rank and champ lobbies on console. Um, so it's not going to be a perfect, you know what I mean super greatest ever you know uh site hold for for this site but what we're going to be running is we're going to be running the mute we're going to be running pulse we're going to be running echo okay um and I, right 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 now what you're seeing in the background right here is i'm just making vert so that way first of all it'll be so i can actually hear if they do try to plant and the other thing is so that if they do try to plant um we can toss holes through the holes that are already pre-made and then uh if they're planting on like uh, a desk or something we can um we can toss a nitro through the holes and it'll land like on top of uh whatever surface that they're trying to plant on and, that, and that's the whole reason why i did uh vert holes right there um or shotgun holes through the vert so that way i could toss my nitro so up and over uh to stop anybody planting but what you're gonna see here and something i do actually notice a lot in uh console lobbies is People don't tend to, um, they don't tend to push downstairs that often. And if they do, it's only like one or two people usually. It's never really like a full-on team. Um, and a lot of people end up uh, falling for the trap of like, you know, if we're playing below, they're just going to go above us and then hope for the best that they can play on top of something and not get C4'd. That's basically what, we're gonna, what they're going to be hoping for. Uh, but long story short, in this position, um, we're actually getting red pings as somebody is entering through Garage. Uh, on the basement here but uh and you're actually going to see in this in this clip it's actually going to be an ash uh and what's going to end up happening here is I, once again i'm just cycling cams because uh, my pulse is actually telling me that there's people spiral so i'm like okay let me check spiral cam and see what we got going on and then right here he's actually calling out that this guy that was pushing garage is trying to walk down the hallway so what i'm going to do is i'm going to double up on my teammate here because as long as i'm silent i should be able to swing with him and even if he does die which is what happens i'll get a free refrag and we're going to go ahead and secure that kill which basically secures us this round uh because now 3v2 position uh we have a mute and a pulse downstairs with c4s all we got to do is play for the, the the c4s here and we're gonna win the round no problem but long story short my teammates pinging them he's telling me where they're planting uh they're hopping through the windows and uh, we are gonna go ahead and nitro and secure a kill right there and then um my other teammate is actually gonna c4 <laughs> my teammate uh luckily our teammate actually did kill the the uh the planter so we do secure the round just like that right there now our next club here is going to be on Oregon, and once again we're just going through claim more, claim more the windows, boys, claim more those windows, boys. Especially and and the run out door too if you're feeling spicy and don't think they'll jump out of a certain window. But um, but yeah, claim more, claim more, claim more, just so that way you can try to get yourself a freebie off the rip. And I actually, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's either this clip or another clip later on in the video. I actually am going to get a another claim more kill, uh, just like the last video. Um, or an, another, yeah, another Claymore kill. But I'm going to go ahead and start here by opening up the wall, uh, just like normal. Also, if you notice there, I shoot the left side of the breach right there. And the main reason why I do that is um, I want a little bit of cover on the breach when I do eventually play on the breach. And, and the reason why I do that, you know, just so you don't, like, immediately die. You know what I mean? Like, you like like you open up the wall and you shoot out the, the left ace charge, the... Um, the bottom one so that way you get a little bit of cover right here you saw see it on the drone but we're gonna drone here uh we're gonna see someone close trophy door we're gonna see one attic we're gonna see one bunks and we're gonna see one kids okay so that's what and 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 right at the end there we did actually see the last guy on uh kids doorway um so that's all five people right there we know where everybody is now so there is actually potential to just straight up just walk in at this point uh however um, I am going to get smoked on the bridge. I am going to take a little bit of damage. This Echo is going to Ego Challenge for some reason, but I am going to take his head straight off, and we're going to go ahead and kill that guy right there. Now, this smoke is... Uh, this stack is actually a stream snipe stack, uh, so they actually know that I am 5 HP. That's why this guy is being super, super, super aggro with these uh, smoke grenades. Uh, but, unfortunately, my teammates are going to sell their body here, and it is going to turn into a 2v3 position. However, my teammate is... Uh, Mr. Hitman is gonna is gonna follow up with a kill and forcing it into a two v two, and um, we know we know a zombie was kids and we know mute was attic. Okay, and so that's gonna be the last two 
people here that we're worried about. Okay, so my teammate is gonna drone. I'm gonna sit on his drone because I want to. I want to see the updated information, and we're also gonna get a ping that the a zombie is on the white dresser here. Now I am gonna crouch underneath those holes earlier. See, see the cover right there. I was able to crouch walk in, not get killed immediately, and then I was able to pop up for a kill right there. Now this mute is gonna swing the same spot the zombie swung. I'm gonna try to pre-fire. I am fully expecting him to swing this cor corner. I do light him up to one HP, but unfortunately he does kill me. But my teammate does secure the refrag right there, and we secured around. <clears throat> Alrighty, boys. Once again, same. Oregon game, same stream snipe stack, but long story short, I'm going to be, first First of all, I always like to open up this door because I like to peek trophy on the upside down repel because you never know, people love the ego challenge trophy and sometimes you can catch a, a little, literal free kills on trophy if you're upside down repel on this and that's like, just that's just something that I've realized over the course of playing this map is like, if you go upside down right there, bro, they don't want to contest you. And if they do contest you, you're going to get free kills. But once again, making that same cover, shooting the left side ace charge at the bottom, just so that make sure make sure I get a little bit of cover on the bridge, so that way I can actually walk in whenever I want to. Um, and then uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to drone once again. I actually do am going to get my drone muted right there. A little bit of a stupid moment by me, because I knew that... I knew that door was Mute Chamber. Now I am checking for Valcams right here, just to make sure I don't get Nitrous out on my immediate walk-in. And then I'm gonna see what my close on trophy door. Now honestly, I should be droning the rest of my team right there. Uh, or I should be droning everyone else, but um, I left my I left my drone right there. My teammate is gonna call out that the, that the Womai is just head glitching right there on the couch. So I'm gonna go ahead and swing around the corner, swing on the breach and pre-fire his head and take his head clean off right there. Now there is gonna be guys swinging me white dresser. Once again, expecting the swing, I go ahead and I take off. Uh, it was actually a mute that was close breach, which is kind of funny. I was trying to kill Goyo and I killed mute by accident. Uh, but long story short, right here, all we have to do in this position, 2v1 position, Valkyrie on the board, all we have to do is figure out where he is. now. I was certain that he was going to be white stairs. However, my teammate actually gives me a big brain call out and tells me, wait, it's a Valkyrie. He's probably playing below. So you know what? I'm just going to walk in. I'm going to look at white stairs. I'm going to pre-fire. And then I was going to play in front of this window so I could hop out of the window. Um, but it's actually a self. I do that because he could walk up white stairs, which is what he does. And my teammate is, is going to follow up, kill him on white stairs. And we're going to secure the round right there. Man, I'm not gonna lie, I love myself some some Oregon clips, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like there's so much little stuff that you can learn about Oregon that just make it such a good map. Um, but, anyway, um, you guys know me, I love my Nitro Cell clips. Now, uh, plot twist here, I'm actually not gonna do this Nitro, I actually mid-game, mid, mid -game, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do this Nitro, I've shown this Nitro already in the step-by-step. -step. Let me show you guys a different Nitro Cell. Uh, but long story short, I'm gonna go ahead and Nitro outside the breach here, right on the outside of the balcony where I like to play with Ace and I collect myself a little bit of free kill off of him opening up the wall. <clears throat> Alrighty, now we are going to be attacking Cafe here on the basement floor for Bakery. Now this is a very defaulty type of attack here. Uh, I like the Bakery take because I feel like it does really simplify out the round because all you got to do is hold your flank here for small bake and then after that it's just drone 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 and you can pretty much take like everything here now we are going to spot this with my uh we're going to see his little head on the walk in here i am unfortunately not going to be able to kill him right there uh however i am going to go ahead and open up the wall right here and uh once again we we took baker control the only thing we really have to worry about here is the flank legion is going to try to swing prep right there but me and my team are going to take his head straight off, which is very, very, very nice. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and set myself a flank drone for uh, Red Hallway since my Nomad is dead. And then we're going to go ahead and drone site. Nobody's uh, prep window. Uh, there is a guy, small big that just killed my uh, teammate. Uh, and then once again, we're going to be joining site. Now here, guys, this is really important to know. Site is free, okay? Site is free. We saw two brow red. We know that there's going to be a guy playing like coat or something, okay? So right here and, and the last guy just for context is on vert for prep okay my teammate did try to contest him right there um and he did get his head taken clean off which is you know it's it's okay it's whatever it's fine uh but long story short here they cannot stop us walking in right here okay because i can just hug the wall and you're gonna actually see that here and the other guys on vert for prep so all i have to do is kill this guy in uh coat and then once again, there's going to be another guy holding red, so I'm going to crouch behind his cover, pop back up, take two brows head off, last guy's above on vert, so I'm going to go ahead and just, I have sight control here, it's basically GG's, unfortunately my teammate is once again going to die to the vert guy, uh, but we are going to get a free plant off, which is fantastic, uh, and uh, 
He actually didn't die from Ver, he died from Red. But um, I'm going to go ahead and be presetting a drone here for my teammates to use later in the round. And then what I what I wanted to do in this clip is I wanted to wait for the Rooney Gate to pop. And then I was going to swing off of that. However, for some reason I got no, I got zero audio of this Rooney Gate. Oh uh, and he was in, he was in, and then I just go ahead and swing the window. Luckily he didn't know where I was. And I do take his head off for free and win the round. Now next up here we actually have a clip on Border. And now I wanted to include this clip because I feel like this clip is like... It's a lot of little assumptions that le leads to us winning the round and also leads to me getting a lot, a lot of easy kills um, that were very, 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 very free because I followed my game plan and I, I secured myself, I, I believe, uh, like three or four kills this round. But long story short, someone is walking through metal. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm expecting him to keep challenging here, so I'm going to go ahead and swing wide here and try to take his head off. Unfortunately, he doesn't swing wide. Now, what I'm going to be doing here is I... No, this guy is on metal, right? I know he's on metal staircase. So what I want to do is I just want to sit here and I want to hold flank. Okay, guys, you want to hold flank. Don't worry about doing vert off rip. Hold the flank, okay? And wait for this nomad to put his air drives down before you start doing your vert, okay? Now, unfortunately, my nomad is going to take a sweet, sweet, sweet time to put his air jabs down. But unfortunately, um, and, and also unfortunately, the guy never peeked back up. So I'm just kind of sitting here just waiting for no real important reason um but i'm gonna go ahead and start our vert now we we already got our um our air jab down uh wasn't the best air jab in the world you want to put it on metal preferably but it's okay it didn't it didn't matter for this specific round uh but i'm gonna go and open hatch here and then i i believe what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna do the bare amount or actually no i i didn't even i didn't even do vert with buck on this round uh what i'm actually gonna be doing is i'm gonna be first of all i'm gonna check east just to make sure no one's there um, and then I'm gonna swing 90 here, and th you see this Jaeger. This Jaeger is trying to flank. He was the guy that was on metal earlier, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and take his head off. Now, if you guys, if you take Vert on this site, people are gonna flood to lobby. See, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Vigil's head right off right there because he's not gonna expect me to drop lobby in that moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect a freebie on him because it's the only place that he can play. If you think about it, like we have all Vert, he's gonna go lobby. Um, and then we take his head off, and then all we got to do is look for the last guy. He's going to be in sight, probably perf most likely in the back of it, because I didn't do any vert back there. Uh, and we're also going to take his head right, right off as well. Uh, but anyway, guys, I do hope you guys enjoyed today's step-by-step -step video. Um, I really, really liked uh, editing this one up and uh, commenting over it, because I feel like this one had probably one of the best when it comes to like game sense and that type of thing. But hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, comment one thing you liked about the video and peace.